so why we need data source as we learn earlier it is the best practice to use a component based development in this side core uh, okay so data source will help you to uh, to develop uh, develop the components okay so you can have one component which will have a multiple uh, data source uh, depending on the places it is used you can change your data source for that purpose you can use the data source but we will see now the three use cases where we will use we can use the data source so assume that you have this page which we need to develop so here you have a header uh, links and other things okay you have features uh, post banner etc so we'll see for three use cases on this page where we will use uh, the uh, data source site code data source okay use case one you have a header component like right? and links here okay so the your requirement is that header uh, component and links are configured in this site code so you need to display this component on all the pages and need to allow authors to update it okay so authors can update those links okay so this is the requirement okay in this case in this use case if you see these links okay you can configure this header menu link as a shared data okay so all this how about contact log can be a shared data okay and then uh, uh, on every page you can set up the data source okay what you want to use it okay and can be used to display all pages using data source so this is your shared data which can be shared across the pages so this is the first use case then second use case is you want to apply site code personalization on the banner okay so this is the banner where you want to use the personalization so a, a example like if the user is coming from the google search you want to display the different banner okay similar kind of a uh, functionality which you want to utilize or maybe you want to use the ab testing in that case the personalization will be used because the dip, if you have a, this banner will have a data source applied then you, uh, depending on your personalization rule okay you can change the data source so you can have a personalization rule and where you can switch the uh, data source so that way how you can apply the personalization on this uh, banner the third use case you have a multi country website for india you want to uh, this feature the uh, post you want to come uh, you want to display it from the local container of india whereas for the global website you want this data to be displayed in the global feature so in that in this case what you will do is you will create two data sources one is for the local uh, uh, for the india and the global uh, for it will have a different data source so for the global website you will provide a data source as from the global node whereas for the india uh, or a local website you will provide it from the local uh, node so these are the three use cases where you can use the data source okay so data source is very important in fact this, uh, you will find any if, if you are giving the site to certification exam also you will find some questions from the data source and also from in the interviews also you will find this uh, questions okay so these are the three uh, basic use cases i have explained you can have man, uh, many use cases where you can you have to use the data source